GPIO programming structure. Remember, each GPIO port is governed by many registers as shown in the figure here. These registers may vary depending upon the vendor who designs the microcontroller. Generally, in the microcontroller, a GPIO port is governed by these registers. The minimum set of registers which you find in any microcontroller is direction register, which is also called a mode register. By using this register, you can set the direction or mode as an input, output, analog, etc. Input data register which is used to read from a GPIO port output data register which is used to write to a GPIO port. In STM32F4XX series of microcontrollers, each GPIO port is governed by many configuration registers. Let me quickly take you to the reference manual of the microcontroller and show it to you. In my microcontroller, which comes under STM32F407XX series, the GPIO port is governed by these many registers. GPIO port mode registers, GPIO port output type register, GPIO port output speed register, GPIO port pull up, pull down register, GPIO port input data register, and many. Don't worry about all these registers for a time being. In the coming videos, I will walk you through them one by one. And also note that all these GPIO registers are connected over a system bus to the processor. If I can open the data sheet of STM32F4XX microcontroller, and then you can see that all these GPIO ports are connected to the processor over HB1 bus. HB1 is a main system bus which can operate at maximum of 168 megahertz clock speed. So this bus is HB1. Each of these GPIO ports has all those configuration registers which I have just shown to you.